Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin, live tonight on Facebook. Today is July 1st, 2019, just in case you're watching this later and you're wondering what the time frame was. Welcome. I'm so excited that you're tuning in tonight. Whether you're watching with me live right now or whether you're watching later on YouTube, thank you so much. Hi Lori, hi Cheryl, hi Sharon, Debbie's here, welcome, I saw Arliss pop in, Marsha, welcome. So, I've had so many of you that have um, said that you want to hear all about my trip to Nashville. So for, if you're tuning in new, um, I just got back from Nashville late last night. It, my daughter Haley, it's her birthday today, woohoo, she's 25 years old, and um, She's getting married August 3rd. So I know I sent out a newsletter and it had August 8th as the wedding date. Oh my Lord. <laughs> it was just a typo. She's getting married on August 3rd. And um, we went down to Nashville for her bachelorette party. And I have to tell you, so I'm not a big music person. Like I like music, but I like to listen to the radio. And I am not a follower of any particular musician. I do love Nickelback. I know my daughter cringes, but I love Nickelback. I love their songs. Um, but I don't own like their CD or anything like that. I just listen to the radio. I listen to Top 40, so I'm not a music person. It's just way above me. <laughs> um, so going to Nashville was not on my bucket list at all. Like I could care less. And it's a long drive. We drove down. It was about um, nine and a half hours. And I'm just like, why Nashville? Uh, but I have to tell you, this trip will probably go down as the one of the very funnest trips that I have ever been on. We had such a great time. Um, the girls that we went with, Haley's bridesmaids and a couple really good friends, and then me and her future mother-in-law, we all went on this trip. And these girls are hysterical. They are snarky and funny, and they have a quick sense of humor, and they do funny things all the time. And we just had a blast. And um, her best friend Nina is the one who planned the um, the party. Yeah, Arliss says you do not want to be late for her wedding. Oh, don't worry, Arliss, I'll be there. <laughs> but um, her best friend Nina planned the whole thing. And I mentioned to her, I said, wow, you did a fantastic job. And she goes, yeah, this was the first time I ever had to do this. <laughs> like, well, you wouldn't know it. You maybe have a new career there. But we had um, a scavenger hunt that Haley had to do. Like, for example, she had to, uh, there was a whole list, and then we checked them off and took pictures as she did them. She had to kiss the head of a bald guy. <laughs> and this was all good, harmless fun. But, you, you know, you don't just go up to a bald guy and kiss their head. You say, hey, it's my bachelorette, and I have to do this. And she said she couldn't have picked a better guy to kiss because he smelled so good. He goes, yeah, I just got out of the shower. Go ahead, kiss my head. So we have pictures of that. She had to find somebody named Jared. Jared is her fiance's name, and that was really hard. So we were blaming Jared's mom for not naming him Bob. Um, what else did she have to do? She had to find a police officer, and I can't remember what she had to do with the police officer, but something. Um... Let's see, what else? There were just so many little things that, oh, she had to ride a bull. She did it. Fell off, but she did it. So it was really cute. And um, the girls brought decorations. So when we got to our, and I guess it was a penthouse. I'm like, what is this, an apartment, a condo? What is it? It was a penthouse. Um, when we got to the penthouse, Haley had to stay outside in the hallway while they went in and did all the decorations. And they had wall banners that said bride and streamers coming down and and streamers they hung on the wall and it was just all so pretty it was really cute um, who was that Claudia that just said oh yeah kiss a bald guy hey watch it my husband doesn't have any hair either I just cut it all off again today <laughs> so we had a fantastic time if there were some any t if there were any really good tips that I would suggest for Nashville um, 
Number one, it's pretty warm there, which I love. Uh, number two, we stayed right on 2nd Avenue North, I think, in the, a penthouse. And while I whined a little bit about the cost because it was a little pricey, I think that that is the way to go. We were right there. Like, Nashville's the new Vegas, okay? Or, no, did I say that right? Yeah, Nashville's the new Vegas. There were a million different um, br um, bachelorette parties there. Um, the streets are crowded at night, not, not too bad during the day. And um, staying right there on 2nd Street where you walk out the door and you're just in the, in the middle of everything was just amazing. We had a beautiful, beautiful penthouse. And um, we didn't spend a lot of time there, but it was really nice because you could go shopping and then just walk back out and put your stuff in the, in the, in the penthouse and then come back down. So Kathy says she kisses a um, bald head all the time. <laughs> and Donna says, don't go during the NFL draft. Right, I probably wouldn't do that either. But it was super, super fun. All the bars have um, live music. That was super fun. The girls sang karaoke. Um, several places we walked into, they went up and held, gave the, the guy um, the question, is there anybody here named Jared? And they would, the band would announce it, and it was just so funny. So, um, it was a great trip. I would, I would do it again next weekend. Like, that's how much fun we had. And, you know, sometimes traveling with a bunch of people can be challenging. Um, sometimes traveling with a bunch of women can be filled with a lot of drama and nonsense and all stuff that I hate. Like, I hate drama and I hate BS and I hate, you know, don't be mean to each other and and na 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 na. I just hate all that. And women tend to do that. Um, these girls, we didn't have any of that. It was a blast. It was just so much fun. It was exactly what we all needed was this getaway. And I'm just so glad that I went. And I would I would travel with these girls and Lori, the future mother-in-law, anytime. We had so much fun. So that's my story about Nashville. Uh, we got home late last night. It took us, oh my gosh, 12 hours to get home. We stopped twice to eat, but then 71 miles from a closed freeway, we had to get off on a detour. So almost all the way back from um, Nashville, we took like uh, state highways instead of interset, inter interstate. Um, Trudy, we didn't have too much problem with the shower schedule. There were two really nice bathrooms there. And um, no, not really. You know, a funny little thing about that, oftentimes girls this age in their early 20s, they're not showering every day because it's too much work to do their hair. Haley, for example, um, she did take a shower and do her hair for the second day, but her hair is a lot to deal with. She's got extremely thick hair and it's very, very naturally curly, so it takes her a long time to do something with it. So they're using dry shampoo now. Um, so yeah, that worked fine. We didn't have any issues with the bathroom. We did have some problems because there were no extra blankets in the penthouse. We brought along two air mattresses because we had 10 people and there were only two beds <laughs> and a sleeper sofa. So um, we brought along air mattresses, but we really didn't think beyond needing blankets. Like we thought there would be extra blankets and there weren't, but um, my stepdaughter, Stephanie, like didn't sleep at all. Um, am I on the right? page you guys did I load up on the wrong page hang on I just saw Blaine Peterson pop in and he is one of my bear hunting friends oh yeah I'm live on the right page okay good hi Blaine <laughs> when I see people's names popping in that don't normally watch it like makes me really like go oh did I get on the wrong page but I am on the right page I can see myself here so we're good on that end I'm gonna get my screen going here so anyways Nashville was a blast I would do it again in a heartbeat, and um, Steve said that he would like to go to Nashville, but he's not going to Nashville anytime soon because he is, um, you know, he's been having a lot of problems with his knee, and um, he went and got an MRI. He demanded an MRI because he's like, he knows there's just something, it's not just knee a, a knee ache, there's something going on. And now they found that he has a, um, a stress fracture in his knee. Yeah. And so he's, they ordered him on crutches immediately, which is great. 
but he has a torn muscle, a torn, torn labrum in his shoulder that also needs to be fixed. And so, of course, the crutches are killing him. The guy can't win. Yeah, stress fracture in the knee. And his arthritis in the knee is much worse. So he is going to need a full knee replacement. And we don't want to do that before the wedding. But we don't really want him on crutches for the wedding either. You know what I mean? It's like, ugh, can't this guy catch a break? So, um, Stampin' Up! You know, Sarah, Sarah Simon said Stampin' Up! should do an event in Nashville. You know, Sarah, Stampin' Up! did. A few years ago, we had a leadership event there, and I actually went. And I can remember that because um, I was a presenter at that one. And um, we went to the Wild Horse Saloon. They bussed us down there for the manager's reception. And it was really, really super fun. And um, But they played all country music, and I'm not a fan. And so for me, it's like, meh. But all the all the bars that we went to, we went to Country Rock, and I do like that. So it was really, really fun. Um, but yeah, Stampin' Up! was in Nashville one time, and it was neat. We stayed at the Grand Old Opry Convention Center, which is like all under one roof. You stay there, and the convention center's there, and they have bars and restaurants all in this huge place. It was just a blast. So yeah, that was my um, weekend. And what else? I don't think I can think of anything else. Um, I went on the Illinois Tollway website today to pay my tolls because I was told you can just blow through them and then go online and pay them. But if you happen to do that, make sure you pay attention to which route you're taking because you have to tell them when you got on and when you got off. And I didn't even, dro I drove almost all the way home, almost to Chicago, and then I let Haley drive for a little while, and then her friend Zoe drove the rest of the way. So it's like, I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know how we got home. <laughs> I was just a passenger. And if I start sneezing, um, I'm kind of stuffed up, but um, it's allergies. Like I have had a stuffy nose and been sneezing since last week, Tuesday, I think. So kind of nasally and, and uh, my nose is a little whistly. <laughs> so if I go like that, I'm completely stuffed up, but it feels like my nose is running, but it's not. Sorry, maybe too much information. <laughs> Okay, I want to give you guys a couple tips. Please make sure you're pushing um, on that share button. That really helps me out. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. That's always also a big help. If you're watching later on YouTube after I um, upload this, if you're watching the replay, please share my video. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Cindy made stuffed peppers. Oh my gosh, and the peppers are hot. Oh, goodness. Um, Advil cold and sinus works wonders for allergies. Um, Teppy, is that what you're saying? Because I don't know if I want to take cold medicine. I've just got allergies. It's I, I feel fine. It's just that I keep sneezing. Flonase. I usually use Sudafed, but I haven't had allergy problems in years, so I don't even know if I have any. So I need to do that. Thanks, you guys, for all the thumbs up and the hearts. I really appreciate it. So um, I wanted to just let you guys know my schedule here coming up. Um, next Saturday, I will be leaving for Greece, so I will be gone next weekend. I am going to do a Facebook Live, not live. Yay! And I have no idea at this point what it's going to be, because that's how I roll. But um, I just wanted to let you know that I will post it. I will have it posted at 7 p.m. next Sunday night on our normal time. And then um, the following weekend... I am going to be back on Sunday, but I'm not sure what time. So what I may do is have another Facebook Live on Monday night instead of Sunday night. What do you guys What do you guys want? Do you want a Facebook Live not live on Sunday night, or do you want one on Monday night? You let me know what you'd prefer. Um, I don't know if I can actually get two Facebook Lives done before I leave. That's what I'm kind of struggling with because, um, you know, it's not... It takes about an hour, an hour and a half to do a Facebook Live. That's fine. I love that. But the time that it takes me to create some projects for it is a whole other ballgame. <laughs> sometimes they're like that, and sometimes they're like, I can't come up with anything. So <clears throat> Cindy says she loves my Facebook Live, not live. Thank you, Cindy, so much. Oh, Jenny, you don't need to worry. I will be taking lots and lots of pictures. My stepdaughter, Anna, is going with me, and she is super excited. Um, she's never been on a big trip like this, so... She's going to love it. 
Somebody just had both their knees replaced two months ago. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, Steve's had a partial knee replacement in his other knee. So now this is the good knee that's, that's crummy. Lisa has school Monday night, live, not live. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see if I can accomplish it. If I can't get a Facebook Live, not live done, then I'll do it on Monday night. But I'll let you guys know. Um, I'm planning on buying the internet package when I get on the ship. I usually do that because otherwise it's just too overwhelming to come home after being gone for whatever, 10 days or whatever it is, to the mountains and mountains of um, emails and, and Facebook messages that need to be answered. So, um Sarah wants to see my swaps. <laughs> so Sarah, Sarah is just like, she's part of my team and she is the sweetest person. Let me find this. She is the sweetest person. She messaged me before I was leaving for Nashville. And she said, do you need anything? Do you, can I help you with something that will help alleviate your pressure or stress level or whatever? And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Because I have swap cards that need to be made. So here we go. This, these are my swaps for Greece. Yeah, I took this one that was made with the foil paper and I used the, can you see it? The embossing folder instead of the foil paper. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so Sarah made all of these, all of these swap cards for me to take on the trip to Greece. Hang on, I just dropped some. So I was like, don't drop them all over the place. But yeah, so I'm super, super grateful to her because that was just one last thing I needed to worry about. Yay! So got tons and tons of swap cards here that I need to sh sh show you guys. So Marlene asked if I'm taking my crown. Well, Marlene, that's a great question. I will not be taking this crown, but um, we leave on Saturday, July 6th. On Sunday, we get there on July 7th, and that's my birthday. I have a happy birthday um, rhinestone studded tiara that I will be taking and I wear all day long on my birthday no matter where I go. So if I'm home, go to the gas station, I go to the post office, I'll go to the grocery store, I have my happy birthday tiara on. And it's really funny because people will look at you and they're like, huh. And I'll be like, really? Like, can you read? It's my birthday. And then lots of people will just say, happy birthday, or is it your birthday? Yes, it is. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm sure people think I'm just crazy, but that's okay. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Sarah, Sarah says, Steve helped. Steve, um, those are the cards that Steve die cut all the pieces for. So yeah, he did. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes in advance. I really appreciate it. Um, okay. Excuse me. I'm still kind of trying to sniff here. So um, I'll let you guys know if I'm going to do a Facebook Live, not live, or a real one on Monday night when I get back. Um, I wanted to let you know, my friend Barb is probably going to be helping me with my um, VIP page. So on Facebook, if you guys have questions that need to be answered, she'll be taking over for me. And um, I'll be doing the same thing for her because she's going to be going on a vacation here in July also. So... Um, we're kind of helping each other out, so that's cool. So if somebody named Barb answers you, she's with me. <laughs> she's one of my people. Um, then we've got some really exciting stuff going on. First of all, bonus days have begun. So what happens? What are bonus days? Well, when you place for every $50 you order July 1st through the 31st before tax and shipping, you will get a $5 bonus days coupon that you can use in August, from August 1st to August 31st. There's no limit on how many coupons you can get. So if you put in a $150 order before tax and shipping, you'll get three $5 coupons to use in August. And that started today. I do not have inf any information up on this because I had two blog hops go live this morning. <laughs> so I had a lot going on on my blog and I just didn't want to push any more onto it but I will be posting this information soon. So that's bonus days. And then this is really exciting, extra, extra. So July 1st through August 31st, two months. If you've been thinking about becoming a discount shopper with Stampin' Up, now's the time to turn that thought into action. Here's how you can get lots of extra value by signing up during this time frame. First of all, they're gonna add an additional $30 to your discount shopper kit. So now you get to choose $155 of anything you want for $99 and you don't even pay any shipping on that, just tax. So 
And then when you order the Discount Shopper Kit and join my team of discount shoppers, you're gonna get a $10 coupon that you can use the following month, okay? So if you buy it in July, you're gonna be able to use that coupon in August. If you buy the Discount Shopper Kit in August, you're gonna be able to use that in September. And here's the really cool thing. Starting August 1st, we get to see the new holiday mini catalog and we get to order from it. If you're a discount shopper or a business builder on my team, we get to do stuff about a month in advance. $155 in any product you want for 99 bucks, no shipping. It's a great time to give this a try. If you've been on the fence about it, jump in. I'm telling you, there is absolutely nothing to lose. If you have a wish list around $100, this is the thing for you to do. You can actually get $155 worth of stuff, okay? So, um, Marlene says, do you have to sell? No. You do not have to sell anything. You can actually use your discount for your own future orders. So if you order this kit today, um, you're going to get a ID number and a password to get you in. And you can um, order and get a 20% discount on your future orders. Nancy says, how long are we a discount shopper? You are a discount shopper until you do not meet the minimum requirements to be a discount shopper. The minimum requirements are $300 a quarter, and that's that's after your discount. No, before. It's to your benefit. I don't know how to say that. But like if you put a $100 order in, you're paying 20% less, so you're paying 80 bucks. But that whole $100 counts towards your minimums. Does that make sense? Now, what happens if you can't if you don't order $300 in a quarter? What happens? Nothing. Nothing. You can get the kit you can place a couple orders, get what you want, get that 20% discount. And if you don't make that 300, nothing happens. I don't hate you. I don't go, oh, well that Jenny Miller, I see your name up on the screen, Jenny, that Jenny Miller didn't stick with it. No, you can continue to order from me from that point forward. Nothing happens. It's a good deal. Give it a try. You'll love being part of my team because what you guys see here is just a little bit of what I do. My team enjoys some really super benefits of being with me. So, um, Cindy says she loves being a discount shopper. Yeah, there are no drawbacks to it. And like I said, if, if you don't, like I have a lot of people who will be a discount shopper for a year. And then they're like, yep, I just, I don't need to order anything else. That's okay, you don't have to. So, um, completely up to you. You don't actually ever have to put in another order at all. We love it when you do. And there are some benefits to doing that with me, some really big benefits. Um, you get all my online classes that are $20 or less for free. And Teppy, Stephanie Schwartzel is saying she is the best. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Um, but you get a lot of perks from me when you join as a discount shopper or you can turn it into a business. It's completely up to you. Claudia loves being a discount shopper on my team. Yay! So Mercy says she does not regret joining. Exactly. There are no drawbacks to it. You get $155 for $99. Bucks. Do it. I'm telling you, you'll love it. And if you don't, you still got $155 worth of stuff for $99. Bucks. Okay. All right, um, thanks Lisa. Lisa says, Kelly is an awesome upline, and I am pretty awesome. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, you know, you know when you're doing a good job for your team, and I think I do a pretty decent job. Jessica loves being on my team, thank you. Okay, so extra, extra, this is a discount shopper kit promotion that goes on until August 31st. How long do you have to be inactive before you can sign up with someone else? 90 days. So if you used to be a demonstrator, but let's say you quit, you know, a quarter ago, it's a quarter. You have to be done for 90 days before you can sign up under somebody new. If you were signed up under me, yeah, Kieran says I joined the deal and I'm still a hobby demonstrator. Um, if you join under, if you have joined in the past under me, you can sign up under me again right away. So, okay. Um, bonus days. For every $50 you order, you get a $5 coupon to be spent in August. And this is just for the month of um, July. Somebody says, Lynette is saying they sold out. Um, if you guys are talking about the blades, yeah. The blades are sold out. They sold out in 12 minutes. 
Now, I'm smiling because what are you going to do? Um, I was online also trying to order. I had eight people that were count on, counting on me to order blades for them, and I failed miserably. But every single person said, you tried. It is what it is. The blades are in very high demand. We do have, I think, two more shipments coming in of blades. And when they say the blades are going to be available at 11 o'clock Mountain Time tomorrow, you need to be online at 11 o'clock Mountain Time trying to get that order in. Um, and there's nothing we can do about it, you guys. So what I suggest is give it another try. you got a couple more times to try and get the blades. But I'm not going to stress myself out over it. I've got that cutter, and I am looking forward to the new cutter that hopefully will be announced soon. They're working on it. So um, I don't have any inside information into that, but they are working on a new trimmer and a new die cutting machine. I'm excited to see what that new trimmer is. And, and the fact that we can't order a million sets of blades to satisfy everybody is the reason why we got rid of this manufacturer. This manufacturer has been creating a lot of problems like this, and that's why we will no longer carry their product. So. Stampin' Up! doesn't operate that way. They don't like having back orders. They don't like having um, product that they can't get their hands on. Sometimes it's unavoidable. But this is one of those reasons why we're moving to a new um, trimmer. Oh, thank you very much, Kate. It is a shirt. It's a little tank top shirt. And it's, um, it's kind of made out of that crinkly material. It's very lightweight. And I, I love it. So thank you very much. Okay, little sniff. Sorry. Let's get on with our cards. Let's see, was there anything else I need to talk to you about? Haley's birthday today. It was also my dad's birthday. He's been gone since 2012, but they always celebrated together. Haley came over to pay a visit today. I got her a tanning um, package because she's pretty white. She needs to get a tan for her, for her, for her wedding. And um, I got her a picture of all the girls in Nashville in front of the Petal Tavern. We went on one of those Petal Taverns and um, I got her, I got a picture made and I put it in a Nashville frame that I got. So, oh, and everybody wants to know, I wanted to show this to you guys. These were just some of the little goofy things that we had at the bachelorette party. I thought if I put this on my finger, somebody's gonna ask me to remind me that it's there, but I wore this all weekend. It's a very impressive, right? <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Claudia. Thank you. Um, okay, let's get on with our cards here, and then we'll get to the winners. So, um, thank you. Oh, this was a card from my friend Dina. She was in, I host a swap every time we have a new catalog, and she sent me this card saying thank you for hosting the swap. So that was really cool. And then, also in my swap, I got this beautiful... This is so cute. This is a tiny little um, note card. This is a bag elope, okay? Here's the card that was in there. Thank you so very much. I love, love, love the stamp set. It's one of our new ones. And she says she hopes that my treat doesn't get crushed in the mail. Well, it did get crushed a little bit, Jody. This is from Jody Peterson. Um, she's also one of my team members. But um, it did, it, it, it's intact. Isn't this cute? Yeah. And this was the bagelope. She made the bagelope that I showed. Oh, plug in the phone. Oh, it's plugged in. Thank you. You know what? I was almost going live and something alerted me on my phone. And I then I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't turn on the do not disturb because that creates a whole bunch of problems. And I think I'm going to sneeze shortly. So bear with me. So inside this cute little bagelope, which was one of my projects on my blog, I think, I got Carmex. I got um, cherry flavored Carmex, wintergreen, and strawberry. So Jody, thank you so much. You for those of you that may not know, I am a I am addicted to Carmex. Like it's everywhere. I have it right here on my desk. I've got it in my purse. I've got it in my truck. It's on my nightstand. It's in the living room. It's in the kitchen. It's in my dressing room. And for those of you that don't know me, my dressing room is actually just an empty bedroom in this old five bedroom house that I use to get ready. <laughs> But dressing room sounds really fancy, right? Yeah, and I bought a camper a couple years ago, and I call that my summer home. And it's, it's a camper, but it is my summer home because that sounds fancy too. Okay, so Jody, thank you so much. This was absolutely the cutest. Somebody's asking me what stamp set this is, and I just don't remember. Does anybody know? Um, I know that it is in the catalog now. 
Is it that? Oh, hang on. I thought I had a stamp set over there someplace that I played with a little bit. Whoops, things are falling. Yeah, this is going to be a long night, you guys, so just be ready. <laughs> um, butterfly Wishes or Butterfly Something, it's called. I don't know where it is. Uh, yeah. Glamper. <laughs> Somebody just said glamper. Yeah, well, whatever. Summer home, glamper. Yeah. Dressing room, empty bedroom in an old house. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and somebody's addicted to lipstick. Yeah, you know, we have our thing, right? Um, hang on. I'm going to find what that stamp set is called. I think it's called Butterfly Wishes or something like that. Hang on. Yeah, Butterfly Wishes, I think. Page 23. Hang on. Let me look. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, that isn't it. Hang on. Sorry. Sorry for the interruption. Butterfly Wishes on page 18, not 23. Page 18. No, that's not it. Sorry. It's not it. I don't know what it's called. Parcels and Petals. Yes, that's it, Patricia. Parcels and Petals. Okay, hang on. I need to blow me those. Because now, now that I'm live, my nose is going to start to run. And I've been so stuffed up that I couldn't even blow it before. Whatever, right? <laughs> okay, next card. Gloria Helmbrecht. Isn't that adorable? That's one of our new hostess sets. Thank you, Gloria, for this adorable birthday card. Gloria is actually my upline. So thank you so much. This is so cute. Then, Rose, I think you're on here. This is from Rose Bell. Thank you so much, Rose. This is just a beautiful card. This is that new Daisy Punch with the new Daisy set. So super, super cute. Again, a beautiful birthday card. Then I have Christine Trimble. Oh my gosh, are you ready for this? Look at this. Isn't that fancy? Yeah, right? Uh-huh. This says, I learned this technique from you. LOL. And happy birthday. Thank you so much, Christine. Then we have Karen Nevin. Look at this. Holy cow, this is a big card. It came, oh, and I have to, whoops, let me cover up her address. I'll show you mine because you guys know me. Isn't that pretty? This is layers that she die cut and put on the front of this card. This is how I opened my mail and I was like, whoa, that's pretty. Yeah. And she says, pleasant thoughts are sent your way with a heartfelt wish for a happy day. She's a poet. She doesn't even know it probably. <laughs> okay, next. Happy birthday. This is from... Sally, and I do not know who Sally is because Sally did not put a return address on her envelope, but she says, have a happy birthday and a wonderful trip, and isn't that so sweet? Yeah, very, very nice. Oh, and then, guess what? From my mother, isn't she talented? Yeah, no, she didn't make this. I gave it to her for a present. <laughs> I give her cards as gifts. She's a painter, not a card maker, and she's been selling her artwork. Isn't that cool? I'm like, I think that's so cool. So anyways, this is from my mom, and um, have a wonder wonderful birthday. Love you to the moon and back, mom. Yay, mom. Is my mom on here tonight? I did not see her pop in yet. She's been kind of watching me, which is neat, right? Okay, next. This is from Cindy Benward. Oh my gosh, this is really, really pretty, you guys. Ready? Again, with a, another birthday card. What? Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, this was that um, June, July, June, promo, May promotion. There you go. <laughs> Julie says she gives um, her mom cards for her birthday. Yeah. Um, she loves them, loves them, loves them. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for the birthday wishes. Okay, next. I told you I had a lot of mail here. Okay, so I have to show you. This is just the cutest stinking little thing ever. This was our paper pumpkin kit this month. Look how little these cards are. She mailed this, so you can mail a card this tiny. Let's see, this is a big card. This is how little this card is. It is the cutest little thing ever. And here's what she sent me. And this is from Nancy Levistique. 
I don't know how to say your last name, Nancy, but I made it sound fancy, I think. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Yeah, she says, just a little thank you for all you do. That just made my whole day. How sweet is that? Um, next, we have a card from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And this is from, hang on, I might sneeze shortly. I got tingling in my nose. Um, Barbara Yeager. Thank you, you're the best. Isn't she sweet? Look at this card. Beautiful. Yeah. And then, let's see, she gave me a letter. Just wanted to send you a note to say thanks for being my Stampin' Up! demonstrator. She received her catalog and it was just like I was a kid looking through a Toys R Us catalog at Christmas. She was so excited. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much, Barbara. And um, that's kind of what I'm hoping. I've gotten a lot of requests for uh, new catalogs lately. And I'm always hoping that that's what you feel like when you get it. Because I put a little note in there that says, you know, grab a blanket. Well, it was kind of for winter. But grab a blanket and sit down and curl up and just absorb this catalog because it's so beautiful. Which reminds me, if you're new and you don't have the Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please contact me. I would be happy to send you a new catalog. Noreen says, you're looking great, Kelly. Oh my gosh, I'm going to look beautiful for my daughter's wedding. I am feeling fantastic. So I didn't lose any more weight. As a matter of fact, I was up like, let's see. Uh, like maybe I'm still at, in the 30s. I've lost 30 some pounds. But um, I came home up four pounds than when I left. And, you know, I was felt like a blowfish and I was really... Um, swollen my legs were tight because sitting in a car that long and I ate a lot of salty stuff but I did do really pretty good I had like a grilled chicken salad and I didn't go crazy with the with you know burgers and fries and stuff like that so I did really good while I was gone yeah I was pretty good um, I was happy okay next this is really pretty and this opens up like that isn't that pretty? Yeah, this is from my mom. She says, Kelly, you are always there to step up to the plate and pick up the slack. Very proud of you. Love you to the moon. Mom. I don't know what she's referring to, but okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You're just the best. My mom is just so appreciative, always. No matter what you do, she's just so appreciative. Okay. Brenda says she thinks this catalog is our best ever, and I completely agree with you, Brenda. I, I just absolutely adore it. Next, this is the last one to share with you. This is from my friend Lynn from Australia. Lynn Fontaine. She watches me on YouTube. She's not on Facebook. Okay, let me make sure I'm holding this right. Okay, here we go. She, ha We have been, we met through email. She watched my videos and sent me the funniest little email ever telling me like like I hope you don't think this is creepy but I feel like I know you and maybe that's a bit too much and oh my gosh it just had me laughing out loud so this is the card that Lynn sent me we've been going back and forth on emails Lynn lives in Australia oh hang on ready there's more there's more beautifulness look at this so this is like um, a piece of typing or printer weight paper stuck in here we've got designer series paper back here right here then this paper is one piece Hang on, let me, oh yeah there we go it's it's kind of glued to this piece and then we have this and this so one more time isn't that gorgeous and then she has a little poem here dear Kelly this greeting brings you no advice on how to spread spend your day just a wish that it's enjoyable in every single way and when your birthday's over, may the year that follows through turn out to be the nicest yet in every way for you. Warmest, best wishes for a really special birthday and the year ahead. With fond affection, Lynn from Australia. Ta-da! Yeah, super cool. Um, and now I have her address. So, and it came in this really, oh, only my address is on here. Fancy cardboard mailer with that fancy stamp. Look at that Australian stamp. Cool, right? Foreign mail. Makes me feel pretty special. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I'm excited for my birthday as always. I'm always excited for my birthday. 
Um, I am going to be 54. 54 years old. I do not feel a day over 40, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I can remember when I thought 50 was really old. Like, oh my God, when I get 50. But it's not. It is not old. I can tell you that. Okay, winners from last time. We have three winners from my last Facebook Live. Hang on, I'm starting to glisten a little bit. Yeah, I glisten. <laughs> Claudia says, when do I get back from my trip on the 14th? We come in. And the really nicest part about this for me is you guys know that I do not like, oh, Anne's going to be 54 tomorrow. Happy birthday, Anne. Um, I do not like getting up early in the morning. It's just totally not my thing. I had to get up at 2.30 in the morning for that drive to Nashville. <sighs> Poke my eyes out. Um, but when we leave for Greece on the 6th, our plane doesn't leave our little tiny Appleton airport until like 1.30 in the afternoon. That is perfect for me. Okay, back to the prizes. Squirrel. <laughs> okay, thanks you guys for the happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Um, commenting. Our winner for commenting last um, last week is Jane DeGroff. Jane, I think you're watching. I, th I know you're on here. Jane is from Westport, New York, and Jane is going to win uh, these. Hang on. The words are being covered up. Well, they're self-adhesive stickers, and they're like shimmery and glittery, and there's a gob and a half in there. And they're so fun. Hi, Cindy Ellers. Cindy is one of my good friends from my hometown of Nielsville. And she's also one of my team members. But this is for Jane DeGroff. These are going to be all yours, girlfriend. I've got your address sitting here. And they're ready to go in the mail. That was for commenting. So congratulations, Jane. Next, we have, um, for sharing my video, I have two things. This is for Kim Loper. Kim is from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I have a pokey tool in here and this beautiful, beautiful washi tape. Can you see the sparkle? Mm, yeah, I just found these. They're in a box over on my counter and I'm like, oh my Lord. So these are for Kim of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Kim is a good friend of mine and she is in my one of my stamp clubs. So congratulations, Kim. Let me get your note. By here, I'm going to put these back here so I don't misplace them anyplace. i got to remember what's going on here. And then, for placing an order, we had another drawing. And our winner for the order is Kathleen Bryson of Orcutt, California. Kathleen, this little birthday goodness is all yours, sister. This is so cute. I have this stamp set and I can't wait to use it. I haven't used it yet, but you're gonna see some stuff coming out from me. Birthday goodness. And who doesn't like that? Tower of Donuts. So funny story, my husband now has a broken knee and Haley needs a donut wall. She's not having a wedding cake for her wedding. She doesn't really like cake, except ice cream cake. And well, that's impossible for a wedding. So, well, kind of. Anyways, um, instead, she's going to have a donut wall. They're a thing, you guys. Like, they're a whole thing. Go on go on Pinterest and look up donut wall. They're the cutest thing ever. She wanted Steve to make her a donut wall, and he's like, I don't know how much of this stuff I'm going to be able to do because he's on crutches now. And um, don't worry, Steve. I know how to do woodworking, and I'm going to make the donut wall. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that, but this reminded me of it. Again, with the squirrel. <laughs> Okay, are we ready to stamp? Um, I don't think I've got anything else here. Hang on while I take off my glasses because I am perspiring. Like, it's kind of warm in my office. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I know I've got a big mouth, but I have my fan on because I'm like, woo! And if Bev's watching, Bev is my Optavia coach, the weight loss thing. And I have been drinking, I drank like five of these. They're huge, right? Look how big they are. Five of these of water because Bev said after a weekend of maybe drinking some alcohol, which I did. I'm not a big drinker of alcohol, so, but I did have some beverages. Um, she said drink lots and lots of water, and you guys know I hate water. Like, this bottle of water has been sucking the joy out of my life all day long. Yeah. So, I'm celebrating with you guys 
This is my caffeinated strawberry lemonade. What are you guys drinking? <laughs> this makes me happy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set this back here. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. And I'm gonna start unloading my bin. Hi, Kathy. And you can hear me just fine. Yeah, it's usually when I, oh, oh wait, I forgot one more thing. I got another thing. I got a gift in the mail. And this is from my um, customer, Mary Lynn Weller from Port Angeles, Washington. Mary Lynn sent me this beautiful birthday card. This is a bridge card. Isn't that cool? Usually the bridge is at the bottom. She put hers at the top. I think it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I've shown you guys, you can find these on my YouTube channel. I've shown these before. Then, here's the present. This is a tile. And look at how cool that is. I think it's like reflecting in the light. The black part is kind of a little raised. So let me tell you about it a little bit. Um, she says, this tile was poured, then I heat embossed using Stampin' Up! stencil mask, then a bit of sponging bronze paint around. Isn't that incredibly gorgeous? Now she said, I cannot use it as a hot trivet. It's a piece of artwork, and I think it is just so beautiful, and thank you so much. That was so sweet of you, Mary Lynn. Yeah. So, there we go. I set that in my bin. I couldn't put it with the rest of my cards because I was afraid it would fall out of the little basket and break. Ah, peach tea, that sounds delicious. All right, so which card am I going to make for you first? I will tell you that I'm using this stamp set soft spring if you guys follow me on my blog you saw that i did made something with oh on friday totally techniques blog hop we did no line watercoloring and this was the stamp set that i used this is one of our exclusive hostess sets you can get it when your order reaches 150 dollars. you can use your rewards to buy it for nine dollars and fifty cents so yeah super super pretty set okay um let's see let me get all this stuff out here. Decaf ice latte. Oh, thank you, the tile is beautiful. I don't know who just said that, but I saw your comment. There, my nose quit running, isn't that nice? For everybody. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip my camera around, and then you're gonna tell me if you can't hear me. I'm gonna try to like stay up here versus down here where I'm like talking to my table. I'm gonna try to, I don't know if I can do it. You know, that's hard. I need to be looking at what I'm doing, not like this. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. Maybe I'll just be a really loud mouth tonight. Okay, Arliss ordered the set. Yay, Arliss, you're going to love it. I love these watercolor and two-step stamping. Okay, um, Amy, are you the only Canadian tuned in tonight? Probably not, because I hear that I have a, quite a few Canadians that watch me. I love my Canadian friends. Okay, turning it around now. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open back up. And not quite yet. Don't open them yet. Oops, let me get this all straightened out. I have to unmirror my camera. Let's do that first because that's really hard to maneuver. Whoops, I don't want to do that. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move my cord out of the way so you don't have to look at that. Okay, you guys, I think I'm ready for you. Move this, adjust my lights a little bit. Oh, that's glary. Okay, I think we're good. Are we straight? I think we're straight. So, I wanted to tell you guys something. I noticed that we're just a little bit um, blurry. At least on my screen as I'm watching this on Facebook on my laptop. It looks a little bit grainy. Please know that when that happens, I always put photographs of everything I make on my blog. And my blog address is right here. So when we get done with this Facebook Live, I will be working my little hiney off. Yeah, I said hiney. Can you say hiney? I think you can. I'll be working my hiney off to get all of the projects photographed, edited, watermarked, and up on my blog. So you could always see still photos on there. You can see what I'm doing on this video. Like you know what I'm doing, I'm telling you about it, I'm putting on sequins or I'm tying ribbon, but it's not a crystal clear picture sometimes. It's Facebook Live, that's just, that's the nature of the beast. 
but you can always find the photo that is not going to be grainy and crummy on my blog. So just hop right over there. I get um, some people that say, wow, your video is kind of um, blurry. Yep, I know. There's nothing I can do about it, but head over to my blog and you'll get see beautiful pictures. And I put all the dimensions there. Okay, so you can find all of those in one place. And there's a shopping list there. So if you want to place an order with me, I love orders. Did you know that about me? I think you did. <laughs> okay, we're going to get our first card out here. Here are all my bits and pieces. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to recover all my um, piercing mats. You don't have to look at ugly, stamped messiness all over. We'll see how I accomplish that. Okay. i got to stick up my little cheat sheet here. First thing we're going to do, yeah, there's a lot of white on this card, right? So, I'll give you the dimensions first. And like I said, I will always post these dimensions um, on my blog. This is Whisper White Thick Cardstock. It is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, Cindy just said, I sound fine. I am being kind of loud. Oh, and then of course I stopped scrolling. All right, then we have another piece of, this is Whisper White now. Whisper White Thick and Whisper White Regular are two different things. Whisper White Thick is for card bases. Regular Whisper White is for stamping on or, you know, your card fronts or whatever. So this piece is four by five and a quarter. And then I just realized I missed one here. Then I've got two panels of Whisper White. One of these is two by four. The other one is just a quarter inch bigger at two and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay. All right, I'm hearing that I sound far away, but everybody else says they can hear me fine. Okay, well, I'm not worried about tunnel voice. I'm just wor I, I just want to know that you can understand what I'm saying. Um, tunnel voice is going to have to be okay because there's nothing I can do about that. But I just want to know that you can hear me. Increase, yeah, turn up your volume a little bit. That'll be helpful. Okay, I am using the Pinewood Planks. This is one of our dynamic embossing folders. Now, I have to tell you guys about the embossing folder. Um, okay, hang on. I'm going to try something. We're going to turn this camera around and leave it so that it's facing down. Okay, so I am going to re-mirror it. I am going to reverse it. Where's my reversey button? Um, right there. And I'm going to turn it down like this. Now, here's the problem doing this is I can't see what's going on. Don't get sick. I don't want anybody to get sick in the filming of this. So, can you see me down there? Am I upside down now? Yep, I'm upside down. Hang on. Can you hear me better, though? 